I'm going to do this upside down for your benefit. Isn't that very clever of me? Take one of my small dabbers and we're going to start by putting on the green on the mountains. I'm not really trying actually to get this to go into the line now because I just want this to lie on top of the plate. So don't worry too much about you know rubbing it in and rubbing it in and rubbing it in. I have already have of course doing this every day basically all kinds of pieces of tarlatan. I cut a smaller piece of tarlatan for each colour. If you use the same piece of tarlatan for multiple colours you're eventually going to end up with that you're actually mixing them together on the plate which is a bit silly. It's much much easier to just have one piece of tarlatan for each colour. I'm rubbing off no, rubbing off is too strong a word. I'm very, very gently wiping the green with the tarlatan to take off the excess ink. Now, when you do a plate a la poupée, you get a very, very specific look. And that look is that you have always a little, little bit of bleed. As you get better inking, <laughs> you'll kind of tend to stick more within the lines. But it is part of a la poupée look, so don't worry about it too much. Don't fret about that too much. For the smaller pieces, for the smaller areas of colour, I use a normal cotton bud. Dip it in the ink and apply it to the, to the plate. Just had to turn around there to make sure which one of them was pink. I'm not terribly worried about that, you know. An edition is supposed to be printed to be as similar as you can. But I have to confess that because I do all my own printing, that gets awfully boring. And if I fancy changing colours, then I will. So there. I think it's part of what makes an original print an original. That as an artist, I actually have input in every single print. Very, very gently, I'm wiping the ink. Very gently. Very, very gently, I use the cotton bud to put on the colour. Blue has to be put on a little bit fiercer because obviously you kind of have to negate the effect of the, of the brown already in the line. So because you're kind of mixing the blue with the brown, what I tend to do is I use one end of the cotton bud and then I actually go back over and apply the ink a second time. If you want a really really clear blue then this is actually the better way to do it. Take your tarlatan and you put a finger in there so the tarlatan sits on your fingertip and very very gently I am not putting a lot of pressure on at all here you remove the ink. If you want the blue to come up clearer, you simply apply it again. Because by this, by doing this, you're, you're kind of taking away the whole effect of the brown in the line and you're actually replacing that with blue, which means that your blue is going to come up clearer. When you start out doing print à la poupée, it's easy to get a bit discouraged because it does take a while, you know, it does take a little, a little bit of time before you kind of cotton on how to do this. You tend to put on too much ink, it's very tricky, keep it in an area that it's supposed to be in. But it does get a look that you just can't get any other way. You know, you can't hand colour and get it to look like this. So, I love it. This is how I want my etchings to look. Although I've had my forays into hand colouring because some plates you kind of think is, is better that way. Some of the inks are more viscous than the others and then I actually use my fingertip. I dip the fingertip into the ink and I dab it on. Again, you can always apply more but it's very difficult to take away a lot of ink already there. Very gently, I distribute the ink. You're not trying to get the ink to go into the line, you're just wanting it to lie on top of your copper plate. 
So when you pull your print, it'll be this area and this color. I get another cotton bud and I put on their beaks, the beaks on the birds. My piece of Talatana that I use for orange. I get another cotton bud and I apply the Payne's Grey to the mice that are traveling. You can see I'm not being all that careful here, you know, I'm kind of maybe even blobbing it a little bit and I think that's probably where the most experience comes in but also what I've found is that even if you go over the line a little bit when you pull your print you'll be surprised how the whole thing almost magically cleans itself up we've now put all the colors on and we're left with quite a lot of ink on the plate we're left with some edges that look a little bit too rough. So I have, again, the bigger piece of Tarlatana. I shake it out so it's always a nice, big, fluffy ball. And I go over the whole lot. This is actually, maybe, the trickiest bit. Because you're not mixing colors at all here. You're just softening all the colors on the plate there. See a lot of those areas that look quite rough, if you think one of them looks a little bit rough still, you just go over that in particular. But the whole thing is now quite blended and quite soft in appearance, even on the plate. When we're done with the Tarlatan, you will still have kind of scratches. I mean obviously they're not scratches, but scratches in the ink because the Tarlatan is quite stiff. So if you print it as it is now, you can kind of see where the tarlatan made circles, etc. To get away from that, we use ordinary normal tissue paper that you can get in all craft shops. White is nice because see, you can actually see the plate through the tissue paper so you know what you're doing. The advantage, of course, being that when you go over it, you are only brushing. We are talking feather, feather light here. What you're doing is that you are blending those small, fine scratch lines from the Tarlatan that you can see in the ink. You are just blending them so they are actually not there. If there were some areas on this plate that you wanted to clean off a lot more, let's say for example that you wanted to clean off the fins so they were much cleaner, then you can use either newspaper or old telephone books. With a finger you kind of apply it exactly to the zone where you want to clean up. This takes off quite a lot of ink unlike the tissue paper which only takes a little bit and this area will therefore print much much lighter. We've inked up the plate and we're ready to print it and that is going to be the result when you print that plate.